Uh, now there are so many variations of the squat. You have your back squat, front squat, single leg squat, hack squat, goblet squat. So if you'd like to see any of those variations of the squat in the future, please reach out to us and we will make a video on that and cover it. But for today, we are just going over the body weight squat. Uh, with any movement that we give you, please make sure if you have pain or issues with any of these movements, that you consult a physical therapist, orthopedic doctor, functional therapist to address those deficits just on a safety, safety point of view. So. Uh, with that, let's begin. I'm going to give everybody pointers, basically moving from the bottom of the feet up to the core as to what you should be doing with each part of your body. Um, so we're going to go over some tips, tricks, uh, variations, things to help you with any type of issue you might, you might be having uh, with this movement. So the first thing I want everybody to concentrate on is the bottom of their foot. So that is what your um, platform is, essentially. You want to be concentrating on three parts of the bottom of your foot. So you want to be concentrating on the inside of the ball of your foot, the outside of the ball of your foot, and your heel. Those are the three points of contact that you should be thinking about when you are doing the squat. So those three areas of your foot should be firmly planted on the ground. Um, moving up, we want to work on the ankle. So the the motion that you really need for the squat is dorsiflexion, and that is when you pull your foot up towards your nose. That's what that motion is called. If you are lacking in that motion, you will have problems getting lower in your squat. So if you notice that your issue is coming from your ankles, again, please go see a functional or physical therapist to address that. Maybe get some manual work done and work on ways to do mobility for your ankles so you can get deeper into the squat. The next thing we're going to concentrate on is what your foot placement should be. So your toes should be slightly pointed out, slightly wider than your hips, but don't go crazy with it. So just slightly wider than your hips, toes pointed out ever so slightly. Moving up the chain, we're going to talk about the knee placement. So we want our knees to stay behind the front of our toes, and we also want to kind of push the knees out towards your pinky toe so that they're not collapsing in, and we'll go over that in a second, um, a modification that'll help with that. Hello, Stephen. Welcome. So looking at it from the side, knees not going over your toes. This is what it should look like. Stephen might have been in the way, so let's do that again. Knees not going over the toes. And then the same thing from the front, noticing that I'm pushing my knees out towards my pinky toes. Okay, so they're not collapsing in. Uh, moving further up the chain, we're going to talk about hip and glute activation. So you should really tilt your pelvis a little bit posteriorly so that you're squeezing your butt cheeks together essentially and then rotating that pelvis. That um, protects the lower spine. Uh, and it gets rid of that curve that you have in there and just protects the spine in general, especially when you are doing a weighted squat. Um, so squeeze the butt cheeks, pelvis, pelvis should be tilted a little bit backwards, okay? Core is engaged when you're doing that too. So we're talking about core. That should be engaged throughout the entire movement. Um, that way you're, again, keeping a neutral spine and protecting that area. So with all those things kept in mind, we're just going to do the squat from the front so you can see it from the front properly, nice and low. You could probably hear my crunching knees just a little bit. Okay, that's what it should look like from the front and from the side. You can see squeezing my butt cheeks, keeping that neutral spine throughout the whole entire motion. I'm concentrating on that platform of my feet. The core is nice and tight the entire time, and I'm just sitting back on it. Another thing to concentrate on, if you are having issues sitting back, grab a chair, okay? And you can just use the chair as a point where you can touch your butt to the chair. Not that you're sitting all the way down, but you're just touching your butt to the edge of the chair to ensure that you're actually throwing your hips back to sit into it. So that is a modification I often use as a cue to make sure you're doing the squat properly and sitting back on it. Next, we're going to talk about how to modify for um, ankle mobility issues outside of seeing a physical therapist. 
collapsing in. That is indicative of hip strength issues, uh, specifically your gluteus medius and your abductors of your hips. Again, go see a physical therapist, get some exercises to help strengthen that area up. But a modification when you are doing squats, to make sure that you're pointing your knees out, take a nice heavy TheraBand, put it around the bottom of your knees. It gives your hip muscles something to concentrate on and something to push out against as you're doing the motion so that your knees aren't collapsing in. And make sure you're watching yourself in the mirror as you do this as well so you can kind of address that. You can cue yourself on proper um, mechanics of this. So those are my helpful tips for the basic squat. If you do have any questions about this motion, please reach out to us on social media, shoot us a message, comment. And as always, if you have any suggestions as to a movement you're struggling with and you want us to go over it, please reach out to us. We are here to help you. Uh, again, happy spooky month. Happy movement.